Hey everybody, Steve the bartender here and got the bar set up and we're going to show you guys how to make a pretty simple drink. This is a whiskey sour and also the gin derivative of that is a Tom Collins. So it's basically the same thing except one has whiskey, the other one has gin, right? So today we're making the whiskey sour. So this is what we're using for our Collins glass. You know, Collins glass is about yay tall. So that's what we're using for that. And we've got our shaker and we've got some ice in here and we've got our strainer here which goes ahead and strains it so for a whiskey sour we're going to go ahead and have our whiskey right here so we're going to go ahead and do a eight count which is two ounces right one two three four five six seven eight we got a little bit of long eight count there because this thing was kind of messing up a little bit but that's going to be your whiskey in there <clears throat> and we have our Mr. and Mrs. T's Classic Sweet and Sour Mix. Again, guys, I use dummy liquor for all of my things here. I don't want to have all this booze in the house because it's too tempting and I'll start drinking it all and then pretty soon I'll become an alcoholic, right? So it's better to just go ahead and mix stuff with the water and things. So then we have our Sweet and Sour Mix. So we did two ounces of whiskey and the Sweet and Sour Mix. We're going to go ahead and do about three ounces of that. I kind of know how this goes by how long I've been doing this. So that seems about right. Ideally, that will have a nice built-in pour, but it doesn't. And then you go ahead and shake everything up. Right? You've seen guys do the shakers where they go over the shoulder or this and that, whatever, blah, blah. You just got to shake it. What's cool about when you shake it <clears throat> is everything gets nice and cold in here. And then you go ahead and take your Collins glass. It already has ice in it. And you just strain it in there. Boom. So that is your whiskey sour. And then what you would do is you go ahead and... Um, We'll give them a straw, and if you have it, put a lime on the edge of the glass. And what you really want to do, you can do is you can take the lime and you can kind of squeeze it and watch the lime juice go in there. And then you stir it up a little bit, and you hand it to them, and you serve it out to the customer. And they're really going to like the fact they had the lime and you gave them a straw. And that's a whiskey sour. And again, the other part of it, guys, the other derivative of that would be if you're using gin. If you use gin, the same exact method I just did, but using gin instead of whiskey, that's going to be a Tom Collins. And obviously, you know, the whiskey is going to have a little bit different color and the gin is going to be white. And that's it. And thanks for watching.